If you're watching this YouTube video on a computer, this is gonna rock your world. Press shift plus question mark. Boom. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, I'm Rob, and as always, welcome back to VidIQ, educating you on your YouTube journey. Folks, this isn't gonna work. Get it out of the way. But in all seriousness, now that you've seen all of these YouTube keyboard shortcuts, how many did you already know? Let us know in the comments below. And now what we're gonna do is go through all of these keyboard shortcuts to show you exactly what they do, and a few secret extra ones besides. Let's do this. Let's start with the simplest one first. Pressing K on your keyboard will both start and stop video playback. Note that when you perform some of these actions, you will see a graphic on screen to represent what you've just done. Spacebar also does the same thing, play and pause. To skip 10 seconds forward in a video, press L. If you want to skip back 10 seconds, press J. To skip to the next video, press Shift N. Now when I say skip to the next video, it will either play the next video in the playlist you are currently watching, or the up next video in the suggested video column. To play the previous video, press Shift P, although this only seemed to work for me when I was watching a playlist. If you want to hit an exact frame on a video, first of all pause the video and then tap the period or full stop key to inch forward frame by frame. This does sometimes cause a little bit of buffering. To inch backwards frame by frame, press the comma key. Now if you want to increase the playback speed of a video, press shift period. You can take this all the way up to double speed. To slow down a video, press shift comma and you can take this all the way down to a quarter speed. And I do have a question for you at this point. Running videos at half speed or slower is for comedic value more than anything else because everyone sounds drunk. But have you ever tried playing videos at a faster speed? I watch the majority of my YouTube videos at one and a half or double speed so I can get through more video content. It is really valuable, especially for educational content, so do give it a try. You can skip through a video in 10% increments using the number keys. For example, pressing five will take you 50% into the video. Press nine to go 90% into the video. Pressing zero will take you back to the beginning of the video. To turn captions or subtitles on or off on videos, press C. To rotate through the brightness of the text, press O. To rotate through the transparency of the caption backgrounds, press W. To decrease the font size, use the minus key. And to increase the font size of subtitles and captions, use the plus key. Forgive the motion sickness I'm about to give you, but here are the 360 VR YouTube controls. WASD are your camera pan controls that allow you 360 degree views of the VR video. The plus and minus buttons serve as your zoom in and zoom out controls, although as you can see, I'm not very good at doing this. A few more player controls now. M will mute and unmute your videos, and there are three controls to change video playback size. F will put the video in and out of full screen mode. T will put the video in and out of theatre mode. And finally, I will put the video into mini player mode, which takes you out of the video watch page as well. Those are all the shortcuts that YouTube shows you from their own pop-up list, but there are a couple more which I want to show you. But just before I do that, did you notice that there was this awesome scorecard to the right-hand side of a video? Well, that is part of vidIQ, what we do here. We have a Chrome extension tool that will help you research YouTube, analyze every single video on the platform, audit your own channel, and take actionable steps that will help grow your channel. It is free to download, and there is a link in the video description. For now, let's show you those extra couple of shortcuts that YouTube has to offer. The left and right cursor keys give you the option to skip forward and skip back five seconds on the videos, and the up and down cursor keys allow you to adjust the volume 5% down and 5% up. We will leave an entire list of how to do all of these things in the video description below. And if you want to learn how to do many of these things on mobile devices, check out the video over here. And if you are a video creator and you want help growing your channel, we've got lots of beginner's guides for YouTube right down there. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your video making day.